WVUA News at 10. Good evening, I'm Victoria Sheehan. Thanks for joining us tonight. Today, it marked National Firefighter Appreciation Day, and many were emotionally touched at the Fire College in Tuscaloosa when the campus was given an extraordinary piece of history. WVUA's Molly Mitchell has more in tonight's top story. From New York City to Alabama, September 11, 2001 affected the nation, and now a piece of that infamous day will have a forever home at the Firefighters Memorial in Tuscaloosa. This addition to it is so special, and there are so many states that won't be able to uh, expand their memorial in this way, and so we're just so honored. It's really just a privilege to have uh, something like this added to our state memorial. And to be able to memorialize that here with a piece of steel specifically from uh, the Twin Towers to have here on permanent display, it's just, it's just indescribable what that, what that means to the firefighters and hopefully to the citizens of Alabama. This piece of steel brought from the World Trade Center represents the sacrifice that firefighters make every single day across America. Firefighters from not only Alabama but across the country can come when they come here to train and visit with that piece of steel. We'll keep the book open literally for them to come in and sign their name having viewed the steel and read about its story and its significance. And when the firefighter memorial was having trouble finding a New York City Fire Department flag to showcase, New York native Vincent Brenneman told them they didn't have to worry. I said I just happened to have two available and uh, I had used them before, twice, once for the Good Morning America show uh, uh, back in 2001 and for my brother's memorial service. And I had them put away and I had them all folded and he called and I sent them down because it was, it was something I could give back uh, to, to, to the people of this country and the people of Alabama for helping us out after 9-11. And that was Molly Mitchell reporting. That piece of history is now on display at the Alabama Fire College and it is open to the public.